Hey guys, welcome back to Life Up Education TV. In today's video, let's talk about the importance of vision and affirmation. I'm not planning to do the fluffy, fluff, fluff, <laughs> Lana talk right here, um, but I do want to address it because it's really important. <laughs> okay, here's why. I want you. I want to challenge you. Have something that pulls you rather than pushes you. Here's why. Pulling is way stronger than pushing. Excitement is a stronger motivation than discipline. We need both. We need both of them. But we need to focus on what excites you rather than the obstacles you are likely to face during the journey. So recently, actually a few days ago, since a few days ago, so it's been only a few days, um, I started running and I hate running. Like I really hate it. Um, I'm a fitness person. I work out every day, five times a week usually, and I have no problem doing like weights and just like, you know, hip, like intense, uh, high intensity workout. Uh, but I don't do much cardio. I don't do much like running cardio because I hate, I freaking hate running. And here's why. Um, when I was in middle school, high school, I was always the last one. I was always the uh, very last one like I was so slow slow AF and I would always like Pretend like you know, I wasn't trying really hard, right? <laughs> because it was embarrassing so, That became my scar and I never really like running running right uh, but the other day, you know, it was really nice weather outside and I just wanted to like um, go outside and just run and for some reason, so I always go on a walk. I call it my famous walk. And what I do usually is I go on a walk for five kilometer in the morning and I also like work during the day and then I do another five kilometer walking um, just around the neighborhood. And so total, I every day walk for 10 kilometer. Can you believe that? Like it's so, it's so long. Um, but anyway, so I, I do that. And the other day I just wanted to make a change and I decided to run instead uh, in the morning. And you know, I, I didn't, I hadn't run for years and years <laughs> until that day, like three days ago. And I actually, successfully managed to run the whole five kilometer how because of this exactly this instead of focusing on like how it was really hard how my breath was like really um you know it was really hard for me to breathe and you know all the um like all the kilometer the miles that's ahead of me uh, all the road that i have to like keep running like i didn't focus on that at all i instead decided to focus on what I would feel when I finish, what I would get out of the benefit of running. Um, and you know, I also thought about like, like finishing it fast is not what matters. Finishing it fast is not what's important here. What's important is me wanting to finish it, me wanting to do better, me wanting to push myself. If I want to achieve all my dream, I better fucking run. Like this is this ain't this isn't even um, hard thing compared to what I'm up to, right? So when I had that mindset shift, like all of a sudden, what I can do, the limitation of what I can do, definitely expanded, and I didn't even think about taking a rest because I focused on what does this mean to me. It means that if I can't finish this race, if I can't finish this marathon it might have a life implication behind it that I'm not resilient enough. And when I switched that shit, like when I switched that perception, like all of a sudden I just, there was no choice for me to check, like for me to end. <laughs> so I just kept going. I just kept running. It was really hard to breathe. And I was like, <sighs> right, like all the time, but I did it. I finished it. Um, so, you know, it's really important that you always want to focus on like what kind of feeling you can get out of the race like what's the benefit what's in it for you um in the end right i felt such accomplishment when i finished it and also it was effective for me at the point that i like definitely intentionally changed this like story of like why i need to absolutely fucking kill it like 
And then on my way back home,、um, actually, there was like a, this little distance that I actually walked a little bit, but it wasn't like part of the race. I decided to run from here to here and then I finished it. And then there was still a little bit of a leftover that I could walk. And you know, so during that like three minutes or so, I just kind of like started thinking about like, this is like. This makes sense. Like, I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed at that day, and I felt like I was starting to focus too much on like what suffocates me. Like, even with my daily like daily life,、um, because I was like working on another project that I didn't necessarily enjoy doing as much as taking videos, for example, right? And I decided to think about what inspires me. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Like, what in, what's in it for me? What inspires me? What excites me? And I just started listing a bunch of things that really from my soul excites me. And I started saying it out loud. And, you know, some of the things I started saying was like,、um, Because I want to feel empathy for people, I want to inspire people, I want to travel the world speaking to like, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, inspiring them. I want to see someone getting inspired right in front of me. I want, I want to, just because I talk to them, I want to see them having confidence. I want to see them like finally being told yes, right? And so that really excites me. And, you know, Lately, for example, like I started thinking about all this, like other stuff, like kind of heavy stuff that you you notice even、um, only after you start like putting out some contents in online, internet. And you know, there's things that I didn't even think about before I started like putting out some com- contents on the internet, like this in the Life Up Education TV form,、um, that like start kind of generating its. Own thoughts kind of like fucking my mind up a little bit of like how,、um, you know, for example, like you're not getting many viewers, maybe people are not caring about like what you're saying, or I don't know, whatever it is, like, or even like, you know, cynicism, a little bit of like hypocrite, like being a hypo- hypocrisy, like, you know, stuff like this. Like, I, I have new sets of topics that I think about daily because of what I do. And it was kind of like eating me up a little bit, but, but I shifted my focus and it definitely like made, gave me this like a whole new level of energy of like why, I, why ha- I have to do this. So, what I want to challenge you to do also is I want you to tell me or I want you to tell yourself what excites you. Because it was a really powerful exercise for me. Like on the way home, like I said, as I was walking, I started saying, like, I want to choose to feel the face in humanity. I want to choose to see the positive side of the humanity. I want to choose to see the empath- empathy in humanity. I want to choose to see the positivity in humanity. And, you know, when you say that out loud like this, like, You kind of like tell your brain what you want to choose to see. And it was a really powerful exercise. So, I guess, okay, so this is getting too long as a video, so I'm gonna finish it here. But my point is like, you should definitely focus on what excites you rather than what makes you disappointed, what kind of obstacles you might have to face during the journey. Like, fact that, always remind yourself every day basis. What excites you? Why are you doing what you're doing? So, that being said, that is my last word. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.